Good morning. So should I be sore after every workout? Good question. The answer is probably not, unless you're changing everything so frequently. You know, like we at Fruity Fit, we have all our different coaches. We all have you know, similar kind of focus in terms of our aim, AKA that balance between cardiovascular, muscle strength, resistance work, but sessions are different. We have our own style and the different style, albeit may offer that variation from time to time, which may result in you feeling that the next day. Now, let's say you wake up the next day and you're like, oh, I don't feel that at all. That doesn't mean you haven't done anything. That doesn't mean you haven't broken down muscle fibers or you're gonna get an adaptation or you didn't do it properly at all. So just remember that actually it comes from almost that variation, your body not being used to it. Maybe you have worked harder than normal at the odd time. That could do it, but only to a certain extent. Like, you know, I'll give an example of myself. I, I rarely, I am rarely sore from a workout now. Could I work harder? Probably a little bit, um, but that's because I haven't really changed up my own workouts for, for too often. Now, when I do though, when I work a muscle slightly differently, whether that's increasing the amount of work I do, or the time or just the exercises, then I might feel it a bit more. But the reason I'm sharing this is, you almost don't wanna vary it too much because then it's difficult to see progression. But at the same time, you want some variation to keep it fun, keep it flexible, not keep your body guessing. That's a poor terminology. But to keep that variation in there so you're hitting the muscles from different angles a lot, from different styles of training, from cardiovascular system to resistance to strength-based, um, and hitting all those different components that we know make up you know, our health and our fitness. So in short, don't kind of feel disheartened. You know, you're gonna feel differently, like, like the heart rate conversation as well that comes into this as well. You know, people are very obsessed with their heart rates now, and, and that's great to an extent, but know that you won't get into crazy zones of your training if you're doing resistance exercise necessarily. You might get peaks and troughs, but you're not gonna be working like real high energy, high heart rate. But that doesn't mean that you burn fewer calories necessarily over the course of a week, or it doesn't, or it's not aligning to your goals of weight loss and toning up or whatever it is. They just have different mechanisms in which they work. You're breaking down the muscle that's gonna to have to rebuild. You might change your body shape over time from doing this. You're gonna feel stronger, fitter. It's gonna support your joints, help with bone density, diabetes risk, cardiovascular disease risk could go on. Independence as we age. So don't lose um, faith if you're like, oh, I want to be sore. You know, whereas other people, they're like, I don't want to be sore. And the, the likelihood is, is when you start out, you will be sore. But after a while, your body will start to adapt to that. And there's many different reasons why here. One, your muscles do get a bit more, resilience probably the wrong word, but used to it a bit more. But number two, we also, like psychologically, get, kind of know what to expect a bit more. And we become a little bit more, yeah, it's a bit sore, but it's fine. If it's a new, if you've never felt that before, you're gonna be like, wow, this is quite a crazy feeling. So I hope that helps. And any questions, just let me know.